Ping Pong, the sport of kings. To play ping pong, one needs a high degree of athleticism, speed, and above all precision. Our goal is to implement a robotic system capable of rallying a ping pong ball back and forth. Table tennis robots have been implemented by several research groups before, including Gawadol and Gawadol. Many of those formulations rely heavily on reinforcement learning, which achieves impressive results but is time and resource inefficient. However, many aspects of table tennis can be modeled with physics, and perhaps a more computationally efficient formulation of a table tennis robot could be implemented using a combination of physics modeling and reinforcement learning. In this project, we present RallyBot, a purely physics-based ping-pong robot without any RL training. We test multiple physics-based approaches, including the mirror law, a custom PD controller, and built-in drake functions to see how far we can get with physics modeling alone. Our first physics-based controller implemented the mirror law. Here, the robot mirrors the position of the ball across a contact plane up to a scaling factor. This method guarantees contact with the ball, but it is hard to control the ball's trajectory after contact. This is because the paddle's trajectory is determined by the ball's trajectory, so there's little flexibility in the robot's movements. To improve upon the mirror law implementation, we tried decoupling the movement of the paddle from the ball's trajectory by modeling the trajectory of the ball using kinematic equations from physics. We then moved the paddle to the predicted contact point, and when the ball was within striking range, we made the robot move forward and hit the ball in a motion that we designed. This method increased the control that we had over the ball's trajectory after it left the paddle. However, it was not completely accurate. The problem with the accuracy of the previous method is that we used Euler angles, which are susceptible to gimbal lock, where one of the degrees of freedom is lost and certain angles cannot be reached. We need our robot to have full control over its angular rotation, as the most minute changes in angles make a big difference in trajectory. So, we decided to modify our controller slightly to gain this rotational control. Rather than using Euler angles for our controller, we decided to use quaternions. Slurp, or spherical linear interpolation, allows us to find a trajectory between any two quaternions on the unit sphere. Thus, if we use slurp between the paddle's current angle and the desired angle, we can avoid any gimbal lock problems, as rotation will always be possible. With this implementation, we were able to achieve almost exact accuracy when hitting the ball. Here is a demonstration of what our rally bot can do. You might be thinking, is that it? Is this really rally bot? Yes, it is. Ultimately, rally bot is a proof of concept for how far we can get with physics alone, which is not that far. But in the future, we'd expect table tennis robots to use physics-based controllers in conjunction with traditional reinforcement learning models, because with our physics-based methods, we have already solved a large part of the ping-pong playing task and significantly reduced the number of parameters that need to be learned by an RL model. Using a hybrid physics RL controller would reduce the time and computational resources needed to teach future robots how to play the sport of kings.